buddies, it's your girl I, Christine. And a few days ago, we were checking out Emery True and her crushes. And the, I, well, I like had a, like a brain fart. I saw myself in the viewfinder and I was like lost and like, oh my goodness, girl, I love, I love, I love the, the hair color. I, I'm, I'm loving it. I had to get used to it, but I love it. Anyways, enough about me. We're checking out Domix and his video about crushes and how he, um, I guess we're gonna find out for him whether it's gonna be, if he's gonna talk about particular crushes he had or what it's like to have a crush. I'm interested to see, cause I know what it's like to have a crush and um, be having it reciprocated or having it not be reciprocated. I've been on both ends. So let's see what his version or what his uh, scenario or situation was. Link for the video is in the description box below for you to check out. Now let's get started. Boom. Boom. I think as a kid, I was brainwashed into thinking that I needed to be romantically like attracted guy, like... to someone. My classmates would be like, Hey Dom, who do you like? Uh, why? I'll tell you who I like if you tell me who you like. And I don't I'm think thinking, that's I don't necessarily like anyone in particular, but for this transaction to go through, I guess I needed to name someone. And oh, so you kid, just felt most pressure. of us haven't really had much time to know a lot of people, so my choices oh, wow. were limited to pretty adult? much whoever was in my school, more specifically in my classrooms. Yeah, pretty uh, much. I, I don't know, Sarah? Oh, Ooh. you don't even know. <laughs> I'm telling. <laughs> like, like, Wait, Wait what? you didn't even you say like? his situation? Oh, I got baited. Yeah, you so did. as a kid, I thought they it was mandatory to just have someone in mind to admire. And obviously, when you're young, oh, you no. don't exactly know yet of what your personal criteria is he of why you like someone. He's at recess. Growing hey. up, you develop these things based you on get my experiences. Heart right now. And over time, you tend to narrow your tastes down to certain mm -hmm. traits that the person must have in order for you to be interested. And things you Do like they have a sense stuff. of humor? Do yeah. they like animals? Do they play video games? Well, Are they the as weeaboo as eyes? you? Do they have a self-esteem issue that forces them to undermine others in order to validate themselves and their self-worth? Okay. It's up to you to determine That's these things so that if you were to pursue someone with those traits, then it's safe to assume that you'd probably get along. Oh. But when we were kids, let's be honest, we were shallow assholes. Why do you like Victoria? I, I don't know. Yeah. She's pretty and nice. Why do you like yeah. Jerry? I don't know. He's funny and nice. Oh. <laughs> Why do you like Steve? So cute. I don't. Yeah, same. When I was Why a kid, I tended to like, like the Steve? popular girls, not like the bratty, cliche, everyone is trash, like mean ones. my feet, mean girls, mm -hmm. but the girls that most guys also had a crush on. Okay, I hear Melody you. Melody was the intelligent beauty. Mm. I didn't really have a reason to talk to her, so I pretty much admired her from afar. I remember Aww. one time the teacher had us read from the textbook out loud to the class, mm -hmm. and once it was Melody's turn, I gave her like 200% of my attention. Oh, look As at she him. was reading, I was following along and came across a word that I've never seen, but once she got to the word, Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit. Uh -huh. she read it with no hesitance and I was so surprised and impressed that it further <laughs> emphasized my attraction to intelligence. Look at him! Dom, how could you not know the word Fahrenheit? Okay, first of all, I was well, like I mean, nine, you're a kid. and second so, of all, the yeah. rest of the world uses Celsius. Alright, get out of here. Eventually, oh, after realizing that I had zero us. chance with Melody, I eventually US. developed a crush on another girl that I also had zero chance with. Who? Rachel. Rachel. Rachel was the sporty girl in my class. Oh. She was the fastest girl in all the running activities in PE. She's running so fast there still. Than most of the guys. During recess, she usually played sports and other games Look with guys like because scared. a lot of the girls weren't into the games we played. Same I had more here. interactions with her because we were all kind of in the same of the group of friends who played, who played those during games recess. With the guys. Later on, we all find out she had a crush on Liam, who was also one of my friends. And uh... you'd think I'd be upset or jealous of Liam, but looking back, <laughs> Liam was a pretty good-looking guy and oh, also okay. not a douchebag. So, That's yeah, good. yeah, good, good choice. Not, not bad. No big deal. Good. I got over it pretty quick. That's good. And That's then good. there was Stephanie. She was Hi, a bit Stephanie. different from the girls I've liked. She wasn't part of the popular group. She wasn't the most intelligent. She wasn't okay. outstandingly athletic. She was oh, more she was or less fast. kind of average. But okay. I had a crush on her. I was surprised at the fact that not many other guys liked her, considering I was so used to being in competition with pretty with much guys. the whole class population. But with Stephanie, it seemed like I was the only guy running. It really? eventually became public news that I liked Stephanie because of the oh. numerous school dances that occurred, and every Aww. time I asked her and only her to dance. I felt Aww. like that's pretty much what dances essentially were in elementary school. Opportunities. Confession opportunities. Yeah. Yeah. Two people were dancing, they were instantly shipped together. Albert and Caitlin are dancing! Ooh! <laughs> Ryan and Zoe are dancing! Who's this Ooh. guy? Ooh! Steve! Is still alone. What? Ooh. Is you, why, why don't you like Steve? Hey, man, I, I feel like you're using the video to project your inner hate on a personal matter. Yeah. Why are you Who's hating Steve? on Steve so much? What? 
what the heck? Really? Man, f*** you, Steve. What? Anyway, I I'm pretty know. sure Stephanie knew I liked her. I don't remember properly confessing it because I was a little bitch at the time and I didn't really have okay. the con- At the time? Ha! I... Yeah, I set myself up for that. <laughs> but despite knowing, nothing really progressed I like the us, inner for good reason, too. struggle there. We didn't really have that much in common, nor had any familiar things to talk about. Oh, At the beginning of I'm grade sorry. 6, I had to move to a new school and left behind a lot of close friends. I honk, Near the so end of honk. the school year, I decided to visit my old school again and see my friends and teachers. Mm -hmm. By that time, I went through puberty, and although I didn't get a major growth spurt, I did develop oh, this sexy <laughs> voice that you'll hear today. <laughs> oh, okay. Although school was still happening, ah, it was the end of the year, freezer? so not many activities were happening in class. Mm -hmm. I spent the day at the school and when it came time for recess, I decided to look for Stephanie, whom I didn't see in the class I stayed in because she was in a different homeroom. Okay. My friends were egging me on to talk to her and Go, talk, make talk, some talk, moves, talk. and I was actually feeling more confident to do so. That's Moving good. to the new school helped me build some interpersonal skills, so I was like, That's yeah, good. I'll talk to Stephanie. Yeah. Let's go. And I don't we know what do happened it. with Stephanie over the months or if it was just the heat of the moment, but yeah. she kind of flirted back with me. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. I can't remember exactly what we talked about, but it ended okay. with a kiss on the cheek, oh. a phone number in my hand, oh. and a crowd of classmates cheering as if we just got engaged. Okay. Okay. Oh, sh Oh my and goodness. I, repeat, I don't know what happened with her or why what things went so smoothly that day, but when mm. I got home that night, I decided to call her. That's good. <sighs> TLDR, she blew me off. Oh. Even though we went to different schools, which was What's honestly okay, just like a What's TLDR? TLDR. Yeah, I don't know. Nothing comes to mind on what that is. TLDR. I have no idea. 15 minute drive away, she said she didn't feel comfortable pursuing anything with me. It didn't even really sound like she wanted to stay friends either yeah, by how the conversation went. That's so weird. why even give me your number? Or, I had yeah. a hunch that maybe her friends had just told her to play along or something. Or give I don't a kiss know. on the cheek. I was pretty confused, but not exactly disappointed. I was always crushing on girls out of my look league, at, so rejection wasn't really anything new to me. Okay. The real problem, though, was when girls didn't reject me, and I got into relationships that neither I nor they were probably ready for. Okay. And thus, a shitstorm saga of breakups began. Woo! You suck, Aren't Steve. they fun? I, I remember having crushes when I was in um, elementary school and middle school. And you know what? It was more on the vapid tip. It was it, actually, it was the same thing. They were cute and nice. Like when you're in elementary school, you don't really know, like he said, about, a lot about what you want in life or who you want, what you want out of people. Um, but I just knew, I, mm, I think I liked mean boys too. I think it was just that they were cute. Like, <laughs> that's why I liked certain guys, uh, not just because they were nice or not just because they were smart. It was because they were cute. And I was in elementary school. What do you want from me? But, um, yeah, some going south and some going um, going well. But I do remember some situations where I would be, like, confused because it would seem like the person liked you or wanted to get to know you or like you back or whatever. And then... They, it, they were cold, you know? It was like hot and cold situations with some people, and I don't know why that is. I mean, they could have had a lot of different things going on in their lives, or they could have just been POSs, but I don't know. But um, uh, uh, I can relate to a lot of his situations in regards to crushes and how confusing that could be, liking the popular boy just because he was cute, and all the girls liked him, and he was not interested in me, and that was the story of a lot of uh, my crushes when I was in elementary school. So it's it's a normal situation. I don't think I got depressed by it or anything. I don't think it really emotionally affected me. I was so um, there were there wasn't just one <laughs> boy at a time that I had a crush on. So, but anyways, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Did you have similar crushes to him, or were you batting a thousand? You had a crush on somebody, they had a crush on you, and you was getting everyone. Let me know. If you like that video, check out the link in the description box below to support Domix. If you like this video, hug the life out of that like button. I love you guys as always, and until next time, buddies. Toodles.